Okay, so I want to show you how to do external style sheets in uh, HTML. So basically what we're going to do is uh, typically in a, an embedded style, we would put our style code right in this document up here in the head to uh, change the style of this page. But instead we're going to do an external style sheet. And the reason for doing that is uh, if you had several pages in your website and you want them all to have a common theme, maybe a common background color, common font type, whatever, um, instead of putting that style code in each of those pages, you could create one external style sheet and apply it to as many HTML files or HTML pages as you want. So to do that, uh, there's two or three step process, so let's see how to do it. First step, uh, I'm going to open up Notepad or whatever HTML editor you like to use. And um, this is where I'm going to put the style code. All right, so I'm just going to start writing style code in here. So I'll just do something that uh, applies to the entire body of the document. Right, so this is the normal style code that we would write in our HTML. Let's just add a couple things in here. And we'll give it a try. <clears throat> so uh, you can write as much style code as you want in here. Okay, notice the syntax of it is just like we would normally do. Next step, save this as a .css file. So I'm going to save it, give it a name. So I'm going to call it common.css is the important part. Okay. And uh, without going into too much details, what I'm going to do, or what you might want to do, is put this file in the exact same directory or folder as your HTML file. So if I have uh, this HTML file out here on my desktop, this is my page file, then if I want to apply this style to it, you can do it from another directory, but to keep things simple for this, I'm just going to put that CSS file right out there in the same directory. So there's my HTML, there's my CSS. Okay. So step one, create your style code in a separate file. Step two, give it a .css name. And then the important third step is inside this HTML file where we want to apply this style, we have to sort of make a link or a reference to that. CSS file and that's going to go inside the head okay so we have our body here but we want this code this tag I'm about to show you needs to go inside the head and the tag is link and there's a couple properties we want to set we want to set an rel property and we're going to set one other property as well all right so I've got link rel equals style sheet. So that's rel equals style sheet, all one word goes inside quotes. And then we also want to set an href equals the name of that CSS file. Okay, so mine happens to be called common, but whatever you call your .css that's going to go in the href. So this is basically saying for this document we've got a link rel equals style sheet href equals the name of that CSS. Let's give it a try and see if it finds that and applies it to this. All right. so that's really the three-step process. Um, create your thing your, your separate file, put as much style code as you want in there, name it .css. In the various documents that you want to apply that to, in the HTML, in the head, put this tag in there, put those two properties set. 